What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, what I'm gonna be showing you guys is a shag-like haircut, tons of layers, tons of volume. I think you're gonna like it. And I'm also bringing back one of my favorite things, which is the razor. So check out the video, here we go. All right guys, so very excited to bring you guys this video. Today we're gonna do a razor cut. Um, this is a medium length cut, got a little bit of a shag feel to it, um, but it's a simple, simple technique. So we start off, we take off the top. So everything parietal ridge back to mid crown, and then I go straight down vertical center back. And then I'm using my Donald Scott twist razor. So this is a $39 tool available on freesaloneducation.com. So if you want to get one, go on over there. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm bringing everything straight out from that vertical straight out and I'm sliding from the mid shaft down to the ends, making sure that I don't cut into the ends. I'm trying to leave the ends preserved. You can always cut the ends later. And then I work my way around the round of the head using the round of the head as my guide and I'm pulling everything straight out and just doing that slide cut. So I see my guide from the mid shaft and then I slide down to the ends. What this is creating and what I love about this cut is that it's a round shape. So it's following the round of the head. I get nice even layers all the way around. Um, there's no weight lines. So what you're getting is a structured base for the top to kind of lay over. So. What we're going to do is we're going to do this kind of um, haircut where we over direct the entire top section forward and we cut it so it's going to be disconnected from the bottom. So the shorter layers are going to hold the top, that roof up and give it volume, but we're not going to cut too many short layers in the very top. So that's kind of the basis of this cut. So remember going around the entire cut, keeping it very simple, just pulling everything straight out from the head, just focusing on the fact that I'm cutting mid shaft and sliding down, not going to the ends. You can see the layers coming to life there. Now I let out the top. I take a guide from a piece from the side um, just to get an idea of where I wanna start. And then I cut that entire top. I cut through it using the Donald Scott twist razor and I just work back and forth. Now I'm working with a heavier stroke because my goal with this is to have a nice light feel to it. And you can see as I push that back, those layers fly over it. So shorter layers in the front, longer layers in the back. I'm gonna use Paul Mitchell Neuro Lift. Uh, this is a nice lightweight mousse um, that I put in the hair to give it some volume. And I run that through the hair. So you can see all those layers popping through. This is one of my favorite ways to layer hair because of the fact that it's simple and um, super effective. Now I use a little bit of Paul Mitchell Neuro Protect. That is a heat protectant. So when I get the hair 80% dry, I spray that in. Then when I get 100% dry, I spray it in and I do my iron work. Using a wand to curl this thing out, I continue that same pattern just all the way across the head, all the way around the round of the head, curling everything off of the face to get my end result. So now that you see my end result, hope you guys like the cut. Check out the bang, all that movement, all the layers. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, and like always, if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your hairdresser friends out there. And remember to go to fsceondemand.com. I have hundreds of videos from me and a ton of my other hairdresser friends uh, that we've been creating for free for you guys on that app. So go check it out, fsceondemand.com. Thanks for watching watching.